हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू पांडे गुरु जी यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्क इन इंटरव्यू सो मैनी कंपनी एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज शेयर बाय वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट हु अटेंड द इंटरव्यू सो द इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इज फेज द नंबर ऑफ वीकेंड इन द करेंट मंथ सो इफ आई पास एनी ऑफ द डेट so how many weekends are there after the date like uh, if today is the 22nd of the uh, march so after 22nd march uh, how many weekend is available in this month and also if i pass like uh, first of the march so data will be display like the how many weekend is there like 3 and 4 uh, 4 and 5 uh, weekend 11 and 12 18 and 19 25 and 26 uh, saturday sunday the question is also alternate like uh, uh, how many uh, you need to be uh, find the uh, all the monday available in the current month uh, all the weekend uh, all the wednesday available in the current month so this type of the question you repeatedly get in the uh, interview if you going to attend the interview related to the A database developer or the data analyst so i will discuss in the detail how you can solve this question so uh, please uh, before start uh, uh, please uh, hit the like button of the video if you not uh, hit and please subscribe the channel if you not subscribe i am providing very good quality of the uh, training in my youtube channel pande guru ji so so this type of the uh, question uh, you need to be think about the either you can go with the uh, loop concept or either you can go with the uh, recursive city so a uh, recursive city is very good for the performance wise so if you uh, write this code by using the recursive city uh, that in the uh, added advantage so in this question you also got clear about the uh, recursive city as well so uh, city recursive city is the basically used to uh, call within the city so i am declaring one variable okay declaring the date and assigning the date whatever the date uh, you want to pass so uh, for the just testing point of view i am passing uh, 3rd of uh, march 2023 and i am uh, writing the city with city as select i am selecting the date month month name and day name okay so this four column is the major date month month name and the day name so date is the uh, whatever the date we have the variable and from the date i am taking the month so month and the day name is the function is basically uh, used to the give the month like if you use uh, month function they will give the whatever the month third month is there Uh, if you want to uh, day name so like for example if you want to use the day name so if you want to just pass the date here so they will give the uh, whatever the day name is there like sunday monday whatever the uh, tuesday wednesday so uh, sorry month is the march so day if you want to uh, print a day you can just change here the day so what will be happen it will give the uh, sunday mon 1 2 3 uh, whatever day is there so basically uh, uh, if you want to uh, print the date name okay so uh, day name so that is the day name function and you need to pass the dw whatever i discussing day name uh, dw means the D, dw means if you put the cursor here you will get the date part of the weekend so now you will get the all the wednesday sunday monday so first of the uh, first uh, of the march was the wednesday okay so i am just printing all the day name and again putting the union all okay so within the union all i am uh, looping through the recursive city so date add is the function basically used to add the whatever the date so suppose today is the uh today is the uh, basically 22nd if you want to add the something 60 days or 70 days so this is also sometimes you will get the interview question that uh, what is the date of the 
like the uh, after 60 days so if you if you add the year uh, 30 or 60 uh, whatever the date you you adding here so like if you pass the today date that is the gate date so they will basically add the total uh, whatever the date is there or if you pass something uh, any of the uh, date here so in that date uh, they basically add the 60 days so we adding one more day so basically now the second day is the second of the march so this will be uh, recursive this is called a city within the city so uh, basically where are we putting the uh, where, where clause so we are filtering the basically year and the month okay so this is the basically city till here so let me uh, comment this line so what will be happen we are printing all the month okay from the city so if you execute this one you will get the uh, all the month one two three four five with the uh, month name and the day name okay so you can see it's printing to 31st okay now my question is the uh, how many weekend is there so uh, we need to be uh, put here the where clause where day name in the saturday and sunday and you need to be put the order by date function so if you have the question like uh, how many uh, how many monday is there what is the date of the monday is there so you can first see the this is the weekend so now if you want to see the monday or the tuesday so basically you can put the here uh, day name is equal to day name is equal to you can comment this line day name is equal to monday so you will get all the date uh, which is the monday uh, only one date is you want to order by date so you can just order by date so first will be uh, display first uh, order so you can see uh, this is the 16 13 20 and 27 is the monday so this is a very interesting question uh, uh, if you able to uh, if anyone asks you the question like uh, how many weekend is there how many one day is there how many Tuesday is there or the what is the exact date of the Wednesday so if you receive if you get this type of the question uh, you can easily answer the question uh, based on the uh, recursive city so uh, you can find this uh, you can find this all this code in the video description uh, I will I will provide in the video description and for the next question uh, I'm just giving you uh, some type of the assignment so you can try by self so the question is write a SQL query to fetch all the employee record uh, from the employee detail table uh, who have a salary record in the, in the employee salary table okay so basically uh, uh, this need to be you can create two table one is the employee detail in an employee salary and uh, basically you can try to get this question based on the join okay so try to solve this question and uh, if you find any difficulty if you find uh, uh, any uh, problem uh, or if you want to learn free SQL you can visit always my channel and if you not subscribe my channel uh, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell button for all video notification so uh, thank you so much for the watching complete this video i will meet again in next one thank you